Sex Workers Action Network of Waterloo Region is doing a needs assessment of the area sex workers. So this includes doing interviews with approximately 40 sex workers in the region. It also involves doing some surveys of agencies that work with sex workers and also we're doing a couple of focus groups. So the idea is, is that we want to go out and find out what they need and what they want with regards to their life. Swan is looking for people who have had or have sex work experience who would like to share these stories and experiences with them. Swan will be collaborating with local agencies in hopes of improving the services that are provided to sex workers in the community. We hope to understand the mandate, perspective, and experiences of other agencies in order to fill gaps in service provision. We're asking people what experiences they've had with the police, with drug and alcohol use, safety in the community, and safer sex practices, and what experiences they've had at agencies in the community. Questions are open-ended, non-judgmental, um, and will hopefully create an opportunity for people's voices to be heard. I think this is a terrific project. So I think the first thing I'd like to say is a big thank you to Angie Meary's leadership at Planned Parenthood as well as the folks at SWAN who have really been working really hard over the past year in trying to conceptualize this project. My understanding of the project through my discussions with SWAN and Angie Meary is that it really is a piece of research, a community capacity building exercise, but more importantly research in order to be able to go to the sex trade workers themselves and ask them, what are your needs? A lot of the times when we do this research, we'll go to the people who work on behalf of said individuals. And I think the unique piece, well, it's not that unique, but the important piece is that we're going directly to the sex trade workers. And I think that that um, honors a feminist uh, lens, a, a feminist framework of doing research, because it honors personal agency. And I think that that really is a testimony to some of the work that needs to be done in this community. We don't have a sense of what are the needs of sex trade workers in the Waterloo, Wellington, Kitchener, Waterloo region. And I think this is groundbreaking work. So kudos to Angie and her team um, and her placement students from the Faculty of Social Work at Laurier for pulling this all together. Ultimately what we want to do is that we want to be able to create programming that that's meets their specific needs and so what we're hoping to get out of the needs assessment is to find out exactly what it is that they do need and what they want and what is suited to them and we want their voices to be very much a part of what we're doing. Uh, thank you. Another powerful uh, video. Can I have the team involved with this stand up, please? So thank you so much for your work. And I think we have um, some questions. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, we've got two here. Yeah, go ahead. For the, for the video, um, and I definitely just listening to it, um, saw a lot of parallels between um, your project as well as the GWAS project, and I just wanted to ask a question in terms of <clears throat> um, the, the point about um, honoring personal agency. 
um, who are the sort of like the, the main um, facilitators who, who, who connects with the, um, the sex workers. Um, yeah. Um, we did a lot of recruiting for this, and um, we're quite lucky because SWAN itself has been around for a few years, and SWAN is a collaborative of agencies that work with sex workers and people with lived experience and community members just uh, interested in the issues around it. So we already had people to go out and recruit, including